Okay, here briefly I'm going to show you how to sort out, how to figure out the median, uh, mean, and so on. First of all, to find out uh, be it median, be it quartile for box plot, all you have to do is arrange in ascending order. Now here I have already uh, arranged in ascending order, but I'll show you how I did it. You see here, you navigate. Let me make sure it looks good. There we go. You navigate to uh, this uh, column, click on it so it will pick the entire column, okay? And then you are going, see it's uh, on the home page here, see? It's on home page, not on draw, page layout, home page. You go here and choose sort and filter. Click on it and it says sort smallest to largest from A to Z, which means from smaller to larger. Click on it and it will arrange, which I already have it. Next, let's say you want to find out uh, the median. So let's assume I want to place the median right here. So I'm going to formulas, click on formulas, insert functions. Well, here are already recently used, but if it's not, you can type here. Let me clean this. Okay. You can type uh, median. If we are looking for median. All right. Click OK, go, searching, there we go, median. Click OK, there we go. It shows some range, which I don't know if it's right or wrong. Therefore, I'm going to arrange from the first row all the way, drag it, hold the left button, click and hold the left button of the mouse. And see, it says I'm dragging down, the uh, cells are changing. It came all the way to 30. See, look at this cell. From A to one, A1, it comes to all the way to A30. If I go back, it's going to go 28, 29. So I'm standing at A30. Okay, click OK. And the average, right here, see? Median for uh, from A1 all the way to A30 is 49. Okay, so we have total 30 elements. Where from I know total 30? Because I filled out from the first one, so it's total 30, which means, so 49 is uh, the um, 15, right? Let me see. Where is this home? I want to click on this. It's 15 and 16 average, right? This one, let's click 15 and 16. Average between position 15 and 16. All right, now I need to know the, uh, the quartile one, which means I need to find the medium for the uh, low set from one through 15. So I'm clicking here, let's say I type here, Q, this is Q2 median, let me type it in. Okay, now here I'm going to plug Q1, so median it's the same thing as a Q2, remember? Q1, so let's see how I'm going to do it. So I'm going to a uh, formula, click insert. Well, median is already there, recently used one. So clicking okay. And I, I ignore the range because I don't know if it's right range or not. So I'm going from one through 15. As you can see, it's changing one through 15 because this is what it's gonna be my Q1. Okay, it's 42. Well, this error message I am ignoring because Excel recognized the whole column, but uh, it tells me that I didn't use 
the entire column. And I don't want to use it. So where is ignore error? I'm good. And here I'm going to place Q free. Q free. Just typing in. For Q free, I'm going to choose from 16 to uh, 30, right? So let's click. No, not there. I'm going to place it here. Insert, median. All right. So click median. And I'm going from 16 all the way through 30. Click OK. And I get 56. Again, I'm ignoring because Excel recognized entire column and I used only half. So just in case it's informing me. There we go. I have Q1. Q1. I have median. Q2. And I have Q3. 75%. That's all. By the way, I don't know if you paid attention. There are more formulas for statistics. Standard deviation I used already. Standard deviation S meaning for sample, and then we will be a P as a population, averages as a mean, SQRT, this is a sorting. Uh, let me see. I am using here statistical. And all these are uh, formulas for statistics. And once you click it here below, it explains what it does. Okay, so it's just the general information. All right, uh, click cancel. You are good, so you can use for your homework. And I hope this helped. Thank you.